What a 2023 for this man last year. He defeated Caleb Plant in what was a tremendous matchup in Las Vegas last spring and then followed it up with a dominating victory over Demetrius Andrade last November in the fighting capital of the world. He returned to Las Vegas back in June and when he defeated former champion Alexander Wojciech to capture the interim WBC Light Heavyweight Championship of the world. He's a two-time world champion representing Phoenix, Arizona. Quick story about this man. I remember back in November of 2015 when he made his United States national television debut and his promoter Samson Lukowicz said, this kid is going to be something special. And you heard his father say that he went on to become the youngest super middleweight champion in boxing history and is now the interim WBC light heavyweight champion of the world. This guy is must see every single time he steps inside the ring with a record of 29 wins, no losses, 24 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is David and Monstro Benavides. <laughs> um, without him, nothing is possible. I also want to thank my wife, uh, my son, my daughter, my father, Jose Benavides, Samson Lukowitz, all PVC, Luis de Cuba, Saul Heyman, and here we are again. I told you guys I was going to give you the best fights that you guys wanted to see, and we're here again. We got this guy. He's been he's been talking about me for a while, for about two or three years. He disrespected me, disrespecting my dad, disrespecting my brother. So now. He wanted to take it personal with me, so I'm personally going to break his fucking mouth so he has something to remember me, buddy. All right, very much some uh, fighting words from the champion, David Benavides. Again, both men champions, David Benavides, the interim WBC light heavyweight champion, David Morrell, the WBA 